What is the reason why Megatron did not make Berserker as one of his crew? If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the scene in Transformers, The Last Night, which humans and Megatron make some deal, they want Megatron to hunt Kate and the refugee Autobots. And then since Kate has Autobots protecting to him, Megatron wants his crew back to help him in that mission. So humans agree with that and Megatron starts mentioning some names. First on his list is Mohawk. He is a Decepticon foot soldier who transforms into a Confederate motorcycle. Next on his list is Dreadbot. Dreadbot is a tough, destructive thug who's hard to control and even harder to kill. It says that Dreadbot rob a bank but after they show him the money he destroy it and put nine people to sleep. So people say that they can't free Dreadbot that time. But Megatron threatened them and they sooner agree but in further condition. Next is Nitro Zeus. He comes across as little more than a loud-mouthed, trash-talking, strutting, self-aggrandizing jerk. He is all of those things, but unfortunately for his enemies, he's got the strength and skill to back up his ego. Next is Berserker. Humans immediately refuse Megatron's request to free Berserker, but surprisingly Megatron agree. As a replacement Megatron, choose Onslaught. Believe it or not, Onslaught is the leader of a combiner called Combaticans. The Combaticans are a unit of fierce Decepticon soldiers operating with military precision under the watchful eye of the tactically brilliant Onslaught. But since this is not our topic in today's video I will not explain everything about them. The main topic of this video is all about Berserker, why humans was too scared to him, and why Megatron did not argue when humans refuse his request just like what he did to Drebit. Humans was too scared to him because Berserker is a Decepticon who like human flesh. As what he say in his famous line that, I'll suck your brains. Berserker is a seething ball of destructive energy, his lust for violence constant and irrepressible. And the main reason why Megatron accept the rejection of humans getting Berserker is because Megatron will never ever can control this guy. Berserker is a maniac type of Decepticons, he has no master and he will never take an order to someone even to Megatron. So at the first place why Megatron request him. This is my theory part will start. Megatron actually doesn't want Berserker because of his attitude. What he really wants is the Combaticon leader, no other than Onslaught. What Megatron did is to trick the negotiator experts. He requested Decepticons that he knows they will never grant and then request the Decepticons what he really wants. By requesting the most maniac Decepticons Berserker, Onslaught will become looks like just a normal Decepticon. It is because Megatron knows if he requests Onslaught first they will refuse it but he got an idea to make Onslaught weak by requesting the most violent Decepticons. In that case negotiators will think that Onslaught will be better choice between him and Berserker. What can you say about this video? Let me see it in the comments section. Thank you for watching.